This is episode 11 of Viva PPC, documenting my journey running for Parliament for the People's Party of Canada for the riding of Notre Dame de Grasse and Westmount in Montreal. This episode is entitled, Who is the PPC? I've gone door to door now to at least 150 houses. I have talked with people. I have seen people's initial reactions, reflexes, when I say that I'm running for the People's Party of Canada, and they immediately say, oh, that party is the anti-vaxxer, anti-climate party. And I realize and appreciate that a lot of people have a very inaccurate impression of what the PPC is and stands for. I don't blame the individual. I blame the media because you have a media which is taking hundreds of millions of dollars in government subsidies to demonize the political adversary to the very government giving them those subsidies and they have gone out of their way to do what I call is ignore and demonize. They do not give PPC a platform, they do not report on the PPC, they just go out with their outright misinformation as to what the PPC stands for and the impact on the population is remarkable. So first things first. Anti-vaxxers. The PPC is not anti-vaccine, period, full stop. There is a world of difference between being anti-vaccine passport and being anti-vaccine. Like I've said many times in the past, I am fully vaccinated. Maxime Bernier has come out and said he is not fully vaccinated. He is not vaccinated. He has his own reasons. I have my own reasons. We agree that we should each have our own respective decisions on this personal choice and that it should not be compelled or coerced by the government. That does not make someone anti-vaccine. That makes someone anti-vaccine passport, which ironically makes them pro-choice, pro-individual choice. And I say this not to be glib and not to be facetious. The PPC is in fact more pro-individual choice than the Liberal Party itself, the so-called Liberal Party itself. The PPC is not anti-vaccine, full stop. The next one, anti-climate, also not anti-climate, full stop. There is a world of difference between being anti-Paris Accord anti-carbon taxes and being anti-environment. And the great thing that the media has been able to do in all of this is frame the discussion such that if you say you are anti-Paris Accord or anti-carbon taxes, well then it makes you de facto anti-climate. And that is the beauty of what the media does by ignoring and then demonizing because it doesn't give the PPC a platform to express its ideas in meaningful detail. But the PPC is not anti-environment. If it were, I would not be part of the party. I am more of an outdoorsman than many people out there. I love nature, I love fishing, I love hiking, and I have the environment as my first concern, long-term concern, not just for me, for my kids and for my kids' kids. To say that I, the party is anti-environment because they don't think a carbon tax is necessary, appropriate, or even productive, uh, is to mischaracterize the party. The irony about the carbon tax, by the way, it doesn't actually reduce emissions. In fact, based on some theories of carbon leakage, it actually increases emissions by outsourcing manufacturing and pollution to countries like China and India that don't have these carbon taxes. The other thing is, when you issue carbon tax limits on companies, they don't actually necessarily reduce their own carbon emissions. It creates a market for the carbon taxes, and they then sell their carbon tax credits to another company so they can continue to pollute up to the threshold. So it doesn't actually achieve what is the purported objective of reducing emissions, bettering the environment. All it does is increase cost of production, increase cost of goods, outsources the pollution to the countries that are actually doing the most meaningful pollution on a global scale. What else does the party stand for? The party is not anti-immigrant either. Being wanting to have tighter controls on immigration is not being anti-immigrant, it is being pro-Canadian. And for anybody who says being pro-Canadian is itself a racist policy, I would argue that that position itself is the racist policy because it presupposes all Canadians are of one race or ethnicity. When in reality, wanting to take care of your existing family before welcoming in new family members is not anti-anything. It's called responsible governance. If you accept the analogy of parenting, responsible parents will make sure that they can care for the children they already have economically, spiritually, emotionally before welcoming new kids into this world. And it's not much different with a country. Before you welcome in new immigrants, you have to make sure that you are able to take care of your own population first. And when you have rampant problems in the indigenous communities where they don't even have clean drinking water, when you have homelessness, drug addiction, overdoses of our young kids, when you have these very serious social problems affecting the current children of the, of the land, the current population, 
It doesn't make you anti-anything to say before we welcome anyone else, new people into this country, we need to make sure we are properly caring for the people already in this country. Because like it or not, that is the role of a prime minister of a country, of a president of a country, of a leader of a nation. The primary role of any leader of any country is to look after its citizens first. If that sounds selfish to you, well, run for another position then. Run for the UN, run for some global organization, but the leader of any country's first obligations are to its citizens. And anybody who pretends otherwise wants to uh, benefit from the cloak of virtue uh, while simultaneously ignoring their own citizens, and that's not responsible governance. What else? Responsible government, speaking of which, which might mean reducing the size of government. Yes, the PPC is about reining in rampant government growth because the government is sort of like, for anyone who's seen the movie The Blob, sort of like The Blob. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the more that it eats, the bigger it gets. And unfortunately, it's not sustainable. It is not a sustainable model to have an ever-growing government infrastructure because it doesn't pay for itself. And there's only so much you can tax the citizens to subsidize the ever-growing government infrastructure. So these are the four major points of what the PPC stands for. You won't see it in the media. If you listen to CJAD, you're listening to misinformation propaganda like it's nobody's business. You have Thomas Mulcair on the CJAD saying he disagrees with pretty much everything the PPC stands for doesn't mention one thing, but you hear on CJAD that, oh yeah, they're a, a fringe group of anti-vaxxers, climate change deniers. That is misinformation. That is the benefit of not giving the people who you are demonizing a voice to defend themselves. And that's what makes, unfortunately, fake news, fake news. When you demonize people, call them names, and you do not give them a platform to defend themselves, you are propagating misinformation for political purposes, and that is what makes fake news, fake news. Um, and that you, the, the reality also, we understand when you go to these protests and there's a hundred some odd thousand people there, there are going to be people with diverging opinions, there are gonna be people with diverging beliefs. One is not responsible for all of the diverging beliefs at a protest with over a hundred thousand people. That is what freedom of speech is, freedom of assembly. You assemble, but you're not necessarily responsible for all of the opinions of everyone else who is so assembling. So people like to demonize the PPC for attending these big rallies because these big rallies also attract other individuals. Well, the PPC, PPC is there to express its own opinion, its own opposition to vaccine passports, ever increasing government control, a micromanaging of every aspect of civilian life. That's what the PPC is opposing. Other people may be there opposing other things. They're, that is their freedom to do. But this is what the, P, the PPC stands for. This is who we are. It is not a party of extremists by any means. It is a party of people who love their country, who love their family, who love their people and want to take care of them, make sure that they are taken care of before we start stretching ourselves elsewhere, stretching ourselves potentially too thin to care for the people who we have the primary obligation to care for. With that said, share this message, share the channel, and if you live in Notre Dame de Grasse, Westmount, I don't like telling people who to vote for, you know me, you'll make a decision come September 20th, whether you want to check my box name or the others. Peace.